So once upon a time, I think it was about 2014, I lived in St. Louis, Missouri, and I struggled to earn money online so I can detach myself from the slave pit job of driving a bus in the dangerous city. Uh, fast forward to 2023, I am now living in the beautiful country of Panama, and I don't struggle to earn money online. And today I'm going to show you guys three different ways. That's reasons, three reasons why you should stay. Uh, three different ways how even broke people can make money online. The first step is pay per call CPA marketing. Pay per call is a type of performance marketing where an advertiser pays publishers for quality calls generated on the advertiser's behalf. So basically you can pay not for the sale that you generate, but for the phone call that you generate. And I'm going to show you guys where to find these offers. Give me one second. If it's a plumber that needs sales, if you're setting this up yourself, you will reach out to them and be like, yo, I'm going to charge you every time your phone rings. All right. So this is a website called OfferVault.com. You can come here to OfferVault and you can search for offers through here. So the goal is for you to make at least $5,000 a week. So you're going to need some pause bigger than these little chump change offers right here. So let's come over here to Google. As you can see, this is small business loans in Los Angeles. So you're like, okay, so how do I get a paper call offer for small business loans? How do I make money by helping businesses get loans? Well, what you need to notice right here, the number one ranking uh, listing right here has no website at all. So why is that important for you? Well, what I like to do is something called seller financing. <laughs> But this is with listings, though. So they're getting crazy traffic, but they're getting traffic to their phone number. They're missing out on people that would actually like to visit a website. So you can go to some type of template uh, platform such as like builderall.com where you can literally just get a copy and paste website and just reach out to them like, yo. I made you this website <laughs> by plugging in your paper call offer on the website that they didn't have in the first place. All right. That's a way for you to make some money. So you don't want to interfere with their transactional process. So what you'll do is when people actually uh, go through their opt in, when they've already become a lead for them, you'll simply say, hey, to put a rush on your services, call this number right now to get an answer. Well, number two. Well, first, let me show you a couple niches. So I showed you small business loans. Right. But then here's a different one. Right. As you can see, inpatient alcohol rehab, you'll see two that do not have a website. So what you guys got to do is you got to find openings. You have to find little little potholes in certain businesses, things that they're missing, and then you fill in those spots. So Andrew Tate said it best, I'll say. He said, uh, find money that's already moving and stand in front of it. If you want to make a lot of money, even if you're broke, right? Find money that's already moving and stand in front of it. So what does that mean? So we know that if you're ranking in a snack pack, if you know anything about SEO or whatever, or if you've ever Googled anything, then you know that you usually call this the people in this area right here. You barely go down here, right? So this gets calls, this gets traffic. Meaning if you get right here, as soon as you get right here, you start getting phone calls. If you have offers plug in, paper call offers, that means you start getting money pretty much the same dang on day. All right. These people aren't using these listings anyway, other than for their phone number. Like I think they have their phone number. I don't even see their phone number in here. <laughs> they don't even have a phone number in there. Wow. So Google created that listing. It's kind of like how the yellow pages will automatically put new businesses information in, in the book back in the day or whatever. So Google created these listings. So they don't even have a number. So they're not getting calls or anything. All they have is driving directions and they're ranking number two for inpatient alcohol rehab. That is freaking lunacy, right? So <laughs> why is that so powerful? Well, let's come over here back to offer vault real quick. I hope you guys are staying to the end because I still have two more business models to show you. All right. Even if you broke that work. So we're going to type in rehab. All right. Boom. And then we're going to click on paper call. All right. So if you can look right here, boom, you see the prices starting to go up. So all the way up to around 825 bucks for a two minute call. You might be asking yourself, why would they pay you 825 bucks for a two minute call? Well, first of all, they're not paying. <laughs> that's not it. They're coming out of maybe two, three thousand dollars just for that uh, with the actual agency that put this offer on here. The agency is leveraging us to go and generate the calls. Right. So they're getting some, but we're getting the 825. So what does that mean? Remember, I said that if you wanted to make like four thousand dollars a week, no experience, uh, no sales or anything like that. This is a way you can do that at eight hundred and twenty five dollars per call. That means you would only need five to six calls, right? 
five to six calls and you'll be over your goal of four thousand dollars a week. You plug this in in a couple of spots, like just go through the cities and look for little opportunities like this where they don't have sites, where they don't have phone numbers right there. And then you can reach out to those companies, come bearing gifts. So we're always thinking about ourselves and how we can get paid. So we're always thinking about them paying us out of pocket. But if you can think about how you can help them, that creates opportunity for you. They don't have a number there and they don't have a freaking uh, a website there. So you can get a call tracking number and you can get a website for free, cheap, whatever, blah, 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 Wix.com, Weebly, whatever you want. Make it look a little decent. Reach out to them like, look, I noticed you ain't got no website or no tracking number, but Google went on ahead and created a listing. Give me manager access or editing access to this GMB right here. We're going to claim this and we're going to start generating some more calls for rehab. Boom. So that's crazy money right there. So the next business model is drop servicing. If you haven't been following my channel, you know I do things a little bit different when it comes to drop servicing. This is the Google and these little YouTubers definitions. Drop servicing is a business model where you sell digital services to clients and outsource the work to freelancers, agencies or contractors rather than doing it yourself. This is why I killed it so much during Snowbit or the Scamdemic because I approached this drop servicing, drop servicing thing completely unique way. Um, I don't look at it just like that. It's not just like that. Service arbitrage would be a better word for it. Or I'll just say a third party, being a third party <laughs> site. OK, like you're like still getting to promote your brand. You're still you're you're promoting the services, but you're not responsible or liable for the fulfillment or anything that goes on with it. That's drop service. And I had a course called Godfather Drop Service. And guys. All right. So let me give you some examples just in case you're like, well, what's some real life examples? How do we know that this business model works and how fast it can work? Well, let me show you. Well, what is this website right here? This is called kayak.com. Compare hotels from hundreds of sites. Ooh, didn't I say that it was third party? So this is just a platform that puts the best deals uh, on their sites from individual hotels and brings those hotels bookings. You see what I'm saying? And they get a cut just by having it on their platform. So what this does, it allows it allows kayak.com to have endless inventory or endless, you know, vacancies or whatever, because they're partnered with everybody instead of positioning themselves as competition. They position themselves as collaborator so that they can have a million freaking properties from people to choose from. Right. So that was kayak.com. If you know this one, pretty sure you heard of this one before. This is Airbnb. Pretty much the same thing. Airbnb does not own any of these properties. I don't think they own any properties. They were already worth billions before they even created a physical location of brick and mortar, right? So that is drop servicing. Whenever somebody comes to the platform and rents out someone else's property, Airbnb gets a cut from that and transaction fees and insurance and, and all of that extra cleaning service fee bull crap that they put on top of that, right? So you go to book a room for 900 bucks and it end up being $1,300. You're like, how the heck did that? Because Airbnb get paid, baby. So that's drop servicing. That's real drop servicing. So I'll show you how to do it uh, locally, like with local businesses and everything where you don't have to have any products. You don't have to do the fulfillment of any services. And in some cases, you don't have to even start generating traffic. You just have to find little opportunities, little holes in their game. Like I was showing you guys with the, with the ones that are ranking, getting traffic, but don't have a website in the listing. All right. So then here's another. Maybe you've rented from this site. This one is called Turo.com. Oh, yes. All right. So if you come here, you can browse vehicles and rent the mugs out like these are other people's vehicles. <laughs> Turo is not, you know, ship. Turo is not a car rental company. They're not enterprise, but yet and still they've become the Airbnb of the car rental industry just by creating a platform. You're seeing this recurring theme. They created a platform that allows other people to list their cars and make money from them. And then they get a cut just by owning the platform and getting traffic to the platform. Right. So we got Airbnb, we got Turo, but let me show you this locally. How would you do this locally? Well, you could create your own platform if you want to pick a niche. So as you can see, I usually train my students on the party bus niche and we used to go out to party buses. But as you can see, something looks familiar again. Ooh, there is no website right here for number two and there is no website right here for number three. So that's a good foot in the door. Some drop servicing. Yo, hey, I got you this site right here. 
and I'm going to increase your prices so that you can get more sales. I'm going to throw in Facebook ads as well, using their budget, all of that extra stuff. Oh, well, what do I pay you? You don't have to pay me anything out of pocket, sir. So you're going to get all of this, you know what I'm saying? Get this free website right here. I'm going to track everything like that. Uh, we're going to get the word out, Facebook ads, all of that extra stuff. But the difference between this and running an agency is you're not doing marketing just for them. You're getting a piece of every single sale that comes through that business. On top of that, you're leveraging their ad spend and all of that stuff for it. So you you found money that's already moving. They already got the traffic right here. They're already getting bookings, which is why they ain't too desperate, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, for a website, right? They're already getting bookings just by having a number in there. But still, if you can bring value in there, you can get a piece of the cake. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you can create more listings. So what is the number three method? All right, so the number three method. A little bit later today, guys, um, we, this is, as of today, this is what, September 21st, around 4.30 Central, uh, we are going to have a live event with multiple agencies, all right? And you can find that in the first pinned comment. You can sign up to that right there, so you can find a slot, okay? So as you can see, we only do this Thursdays and Fridays. I don't have my whole calendar like crazy, so I don't have no freaking time or anything. So we're going to be showing um, agency owners uh, how to get owners' rights from clients without buy-in. So what is you can become part owners of local businesses. See, your agency is out trying to get clients and everything like that. You should be trying to get partners. What if you can own percentages of the company just by how much money? Like, try this. Try this. When you guys are prospecting today, like, keep it very simple, like a one-liner. How much money do I need to put into your company in order to become a partner? Just send that. <laughs> send that email, send that DM, blah, blah, blah. Talk money, man. Just like a drug deal. I mean, I'm not saying I got experience on that, but just talk money. Everybody want money. So just talk money. Don't get in there talking about your credentials or anything like that. So what is an agency for all the newbies, right? A marketing agency is just a company that handles the marketing uh, services and strategies and tips to bring in sales for the companies, uh, the brands and everything like that, that they're dealing with, right? So a lot of you guys have social media uh, marketing agencies or AI automation agencies, uh, SEO agencies, all of that stuff. You're not doing anything wrong except the fact that you're steady trying to get clients. You can convert your current clients into partners and you'll make way more money from each of them instead of being on retainer. All right. Like convert them into partner. That's what we're going to be talking about on this live uh, event tonight. Right. Uh, how to pull six figures from each partner. You don't have to charge them crazy either. OK. Now. Uh, so. So what, what else is happening on here? So also. You're going to see how to offer your clients a 17K in-house bank. All right. So, so we build platforms or we have platforms built and we help the business owners fill them uh, with their employees and their customers so that they can control the wages and the earnings uh, and get money from the transactions that happen in this in-house bank. Right. So even when the employees leave or, or, or whatever, whenever they're spending money swiping their uh, company cars or whatever, the company owner is getting money back from those transaction fees. If the employees, uh, you know, get a, a company card or whatever, right, then they can make money from the uh, from the from the customers. I mean, the customers when they go buy stuff from other places or pump the gas or whatever, they're getting money from that. So this is just a way for business owners to control the money of employees and customers. So this is extremely unique. This is why it works. And then, all right, so then we're going to have uh, the part where we build a 15K affiliate army for them. OK, so instead of them doing their own marketing or us doing our marketing, we're going to build an army of commission only commission based affiliates. Right. That's going to be able to like really, really ramp up business for them. Right. So this free event will help your agency make five to 10 X from just one client versus needing many clients. OK, so everything I showed you guys today, you don't need any money. You can be broke as a mug and start going out there, going hard and, um, you know, making money with this. The first thing I showed you was paper call. As you saw, a lot of those businesses, if you took just a couple hours a day, you can find throughout different niches, a lot of listings that are ranking that don't have websites or phone numbers in there. And if, even if you just did that one method all week, like and just plug into vacant listings with paper call offers, you'll make a crap load of money. And then the second one was drop servicing. Drop servicing allows you to uh, leverage the local business to promote your brand using their ad spend, using their resources, and they do the fulfillment. <laughs> so, yeah, like, and then number three is owning an agency, but getting partners, though. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the uh, 
in the comment section or whatever. Go to the first pinned comment if you already, um, if you want to go ahead and get into the partnership from agency to partner, it's four ninety seven. You can go ahead and get straight in there. Or if you want to get on the live event with the other agency owners tonight, then go ahead and sign up for that. That's in the first pinned comment. Love you guys.